Hey folks, Spike here with Heartbreaker Relics. As you can see today, I'm out here in rural Hancock County, Mississippi. And as you see in the sign, it says Choctaw Indian Burial Ground. Many members of the tribe buried behind this marker. Yeah, let's see if I can zoom in on it for you. You saw the picture in, in the uh, lead in. What I want to talk about is the artifacts that we find. The people that are buried behind this this uh, marker here are from the are from the historic period. And there's a point that we want to make. Uh, the artifacts that we find are from not from this period. And the question that Randy and I are most often asked is if when we find something or if they find something is what tribe was it from? And the simple answer to that is that it's from no tribe. It's pre-tribal. Uh, these things were made thousands of years ago. This period here, I'll show you a chart in a minute, uh, was only for the last probably 400 years. One suggestion that I would make when you're thinking about these artifacts that you see us find and those that you find is, it, is to forget about the cowboys and Indians. Hollywood has ruined that for everybody. Two, before European contact, there were millions and millions and millions of people that lived on this continent and in Central America and South America. After European contact, within the hundred years that passed between the first contact and what I call second contact, when the Europeans came and started settling this country, estimates of up to 90% of the population had died off from diseases. The people that lived here then knew very little to nothing about the cultures that lived before them, uh, four or five generations before them and the thousands of years before that. So the stuff you see most of us find was lost many thousands of years ago before European contact. And most of what you see us find were used as knives. We also find a lot of dart or atlatl points, but that's for another discussion. And occasionally we find a true arrowhead. We call bird points sometimes. But even those are at least 400 years old. Most people think of the Indians as the post-European contact and the artifacts we find have nothing to do with that. There's a chart I'm going to show you uh, that don't blow away. I'll throw one up on the screen. This is a chart I found somewhere on the internet. I keep it hanging over my desk to refer to the historical periods. Most of the stuff we find are from these two periods that I have circled in red here, the archaic and the woodland period, with an occasional paleo point. Mind you, we don't find very many, but a few. But the people buried behind me here, and the Indians you see in the movies, are from this period, the historic period, the one circled in red here. Now, that's not to say that Native Americans didn't use this spot as a burial ground before this period. We just don't know. They didn't have any written records. I hope that this helps you better understand and clear up the confusion that some people have. Now, there's most of you out there that follow our channel, you know this, but there's some that don't, and we thought we'd clear this up. Now, let's go find some airheads. That's a good sign. That means that yeah, there's a sign something tight. Yeah. Well, we're in here with the Pine Belt Relic Boy, and Randy finally found something finally. after finally what we've been digging two hour, for two hour. hours. Hour. Right. Hour we're gonna pull it out right here. Go ahead and get a picture of that thing. Yeah. All right. It's got some color to it. Oh yeah. Artifact yeah. number one. That's pretty. Sweet, Randy. Finally. 
Yeah, yeah. Corn tacks. Yeah. Corn tacks. Yeah. 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 on it. Boom. Booyah. Hopefully there's plenty more where that came from. Yes, sir. I hope, well, I, I don't feel so, you know, yeah. useless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's encouraging anyway. It's encouraging. <laughs> Heartbreaker relics. Oh. Kenneth behind the camera. That's Spike over there. Of course, in the orange. We got Zach and Mike with us from Pine, Pine Belt Relics today. Uh, we're we'll doing some creek hunting. Uh, been zipping around different creeks. Oh, Mike uh, got in here in the little crevice a while ago and found a little break, broke piece of stuff. And we're gonna show you that. But he's got his first whole creek find, and uh, we just want to celebrate it on camera with him. And uh, before we forget, before we get to Mike's point, I'll let y'all know, had a lot of interest in the shirts that we've got. We've got a bunch ordered. See Spike sporting that one right there. We'd like to have a different. Uh, uh, they're not ordered. They're in. They're in. So if you like one of the shirts, you find out how to order them over on our Facebook page. Just without any further ado, let's take a look at Mike's first uh, street point. Yeah, yeah, that was that first flake I found in that one. Holy moly. That thing's fine, ain't it? Golly, see, I hadn't seen it. I didn't look at it. I didn't want to look at it too often. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Congratulations, Mike. I am proud of that. First, bud. Look at the tip That's on that, that little broken piece of, I guess it was a point at one time. It's. We'll pull that joker out. Yeah, bubble. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the look point at that. on that side of the gun. Talk about a splitter digger, bubble. Oh, hot dog. I think a little bit of redemption there. Yeah, man. Yeah. We've been uh, we've been embarrassed. We invited Mike and Zach with us, and, and we just ain't been finding anything. We were snake bit me and Spike. And we were hoping they'd find something. Did you get some pictures of it, Kenneth? Yes, sir. Give me some of that there, Mike. Yes, sir. Thank you that guys tickles. for inviting us. Man, that tickles, yeah, that really? just tickles me. Uh, I think it's fine. That's when you get Zach with me. That's just what I'm talking about. Them little ho those little holes like that, you that's just, where you got to dig them out. What you got? Yeah. Some kind of tool. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Zach's been finding some, some work stuff, and this is a good sign right here. Anytime you're finding something like this, you know you're getting stuff washed in from a site. So you just dig harder. All, All right. right. Let's get back and find us some more. Well, after five, six months of not finding an <laughs> Almost 40 total hours of digging. It's yeah. been a good long while. Spike <laughs> finally breaks through. <laughs> yeah, I found it. It's a fine one. That. Look at that. Golly. Let me get my head out of the way. That little joker is sharp. Yeah, it's fine. All right. I got some a picture of it. Oh, my God. All right, pull it out. All right. Pull in it. Oh, oh, oh my God, look at that. That thing's fine. If <laughs> you don't get excited when you <laughs> find that. Oh my goodness. There you go. Yeah, yeah it is fine. Oh. We're all digging around the same circle. We dig, I don't know, the hole that I'm digging in is about this big around. It's a swirl hole. And I just keep just scooping like in. I dug it out with my hand. I didn't even use my scooper. And I threw it up in there, I didn't see anything, and I started moving the gravel around, and that's when I saw. Man, and, and, and people, y'all wouldn't believe what we went through to get here. <laughs> we waded through alligator. not believe the wine we had to put up with. <laughs> we, we went through alligator infested waters up to here. I, I may film it on the way out. 30 foot deep. 30 foot deep. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's back with ground in there. Y'all hang with us. We're going to try to find you something else. Well, Zach done got him one, finally. 
Oh man, that thing's fine. That thing. Fuck here, baby. Yes, That's sir. Right. Man, that is awesome. I knew there had to be one of this. Oh. All right. That's a day maker. Is it? That's a day maker right there. That thing is beautiful. Got that creek stain too. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. That thing's bad. Woo. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. You can see the side of it? Oh my goodness. Is it coming or is it stem? This stem point. Man, old oh man. Look at the flake in that. Oh, oh man, awesome. Man. Thank you, man. Uh -huh. Thank y'all for inviting me. Oh, thank you for finding more for that. Yeah. Hold it down to me. Oh, yeah. Let me look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and the butterfly is still on top of Randy's head. Yep. This thing's been there for four hours. This <laughs> butterfly has kept on following him around. Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph the butterfly. Ralph. Yeah. Golly, I'm going to get down this house. It's not clay. <laughs> oh my it's God! It's either San Patrice or Dalton. Oh. I don't know which. Oh. I'm gonna have to hold it in three. Oh. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations! I, what did I just tell you? I threw that piece of green glass out there right there. Yeah. I told Spike. I said, "Green glass? That's an omen." Yeah. And I moved the rest of that stuff, and it was laying there. I thought a snake bit oh. you the way you were shaking. Oh, I just couldn't get it. I was like, "Oh, like I said." I, I touched it and I was like, it's got to be clay. It can't be real. I'm, oh, man. Wow. If Randy, coming, that's fine. Oh, oh, man. That's fine, huh? Oh, I got a headache, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got a headache, man. You just mashed your butterfly. Oh, did I? No. Oh, man, don't do that. I thought you squished him after all this time. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Man. Oh, golly. If anybody's coming up or down the creek, they're hearing a baby being made. Oh, golly. Oh, my gosh. Great job, Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can spoil the little kid. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Randy, we can get another scooper. <laughs> can can y'all see him down there? Yeah, he finally caught it. <laughs> he found some gravel. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, had pine belt relics to, with us today. And yesterday, Mike went out on his own 
And he won't tell us where. He won't even tell us what state he was in. But we kind of got a feeling it was Mississippi. But we want to show you. He wants. We want to show you, and we're going to let him show you what he found yesterday and include it in this video. All right, Mike. Uh, well, first of all, I will say this. It was in Lamar County. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Mississippi. Uh, and actually, folks, it's it's. Uh, we went to this location last year, and we've got a video from back in September titled Smokersville. And uh, I had talked about how it was one of the best sites I'd ever been on, just so much material, so, so many points, and real high-quality artifacts. Um, they went in and logged again. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know exactly where they had logged, but I saw the log trucks coming out, so I knew I had to get back in there. But they had not cleaned all the pine tops out, so it was tough looking. But after about five miles of walking, this was my payout. Look uh, at that. Y'all, look at that. Y'all just, I mean, just look at that. There's, I believe, two Bayou Goulas. We don't know what this thing is. That's, again, that's one of them splinter diggers. Even the brokes are cool. But look at that. Look at that. I mean, that is a heck of a haul. Yeah, I was uh, I was very pleased. And, folks, I would have done a video. Uh, I hate that I wasn't able to, but it literally rained on me the majority of the time. And I film with my iPhone, and that thing does not work when it gets wet. So uh, I, did, I wasn't able to do a video. But I did want to show you guys the, the haul from yesterday. But anyways, I uh, wanted to say, I do want to say on camera, thank you, Spike. Thank you, Randy. Zach and I had a wonderful time with you guys today. We enjoyed Found my it. Found first creek point. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Yeah, we enjoyed it, man. We really did. Y'all go over. I'm going to put a link in the description, but y'all go over and look at Pine Belt Relics if you already have them. Give them a sub. Look at their videos. Those boys are finding some stuff. And look, they out there digging in 90 and 100 degree heat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> but it, And walking clear cuts, it pays off. So Absolutely. Enjoyed it, guys. Hey, before we go any further, I want to take this opportunity to thank Patrick Estes for the great gift he sent me of the Crib Mound Cash Blade. Patrick's generosity is over the top. Patrick, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Patrick's got several uh, pages on Facebook that I think some or all of you will enjoy it, at least one or two of them. And they're up on the screen right now. And... I'm going to include a link down below in the description for each of these pages. Go check them out, and I'm sure there's going to be something there you will enjoy. And again, thank you, Patrick.